probably what most people meant that they would have made of it. I think seeing seeing the game. Uh, I think in the first half period, a really good goal. Um, I didn't think we played so well, I must admit, in the first half, but I still thought we were the better side um, and, of course, scored a really good goal. They were going to react, there was no doubt about that. They are yeah, as, probably as big a championship team as I've seen. They play a certain way, which, is, which has been ben very beneficial for them, uh, and you have to be able to cope with it. It's, it's a tough task to say when you are generally a smaller team and in some areas a lot smaller. Um, but I think in a period of probably 15 minutes where they ramped it up, were very, very direct, the, there were moments that we just didn't cope with. And uh, the, only way, the only way you can cope with that one is by ourselves being better on the ball and, and getting that second goal. And, um, you know, they was always going to come at us. And, uh, and unless you get that second goal, it's always going to put more pressure on ourselves. Did it feel... When Cardiff had that spell, that sort of 15 minutes, they penned you in, didn't they? Lots of balls into the penalty area. Did it have a sense of inevitability about it that it was going to come? Their goal. Um, I mean, that's a good, good question. I don't, but I don't know about inevitability, but, but, uh, I, I knew it was difficult to get out. You know, it, this was a period where they had a bit of momentum. Um, the only way you can try and stop that also is by tr is getting to the ball a little bit quicker, stopping the. The, the amount of balls that are coming in, but when you when you're penned in a little bit, it's it's difficult, and particularly when they are such a, a physical side and do it so well. Um, so and then, but then you are reliant. You are reliant on, you know, if if I look at the the first goal they scored, you know that happened numerous times in the game, and and they didn't score, and um, you you are hoping that you you have a team that that can be physical enough, disciplined enough, that on the large majority of occasions deal with it well enough. And it only takes them one or two moments when you don't deal with it well enough and what happened can happen. Is, how much of a worry is that for you though, that you know you, you see your team being penned in like that and, and you kind of think, well, it, it, it might be coming here, but there's, you, as you just said, there's not much you can do about it. That, I mean, that's that's a worry, isn't it? Because you need players out there that, that can do something about no, it. No, it's it's a worry in the game, but it's but it's the same in in, a, in another game where you've got an, a, a, an expansive team that are playing really good football that you can't get to, and, and possibly they'll open up. This is the championship, and you know Cardiff would be you know, as direct a team as you'll see, and certainly the biggest team, you know by the end, you know, the, the, with the subs as well, you have to be able to cope with it. And it, it's not easy, but it is a part of the game. And um, the only way to, to not have to deal with so much about that is by being better on the ball ourselves. And I think probably over the 90 minutes, we, we weren't able to relieve, relieve enough of that pressure. I thought we had a really good spell late in the game. And of course, when, when we're chasing, but the emphasis changes. They're then happy to sit back and uh, and hold on to a lead. Um, but we needed more periods in the game where we could take that pressure off ourselves. Like you, like you produced for, for your goal. I mean, that's kind of what you've been screaming out for all season, isn't it? And, and last season as well, that kind of incisive, quick move. But you need more of it, don't you? you we need, need more, we need more of it. We need more of it, and we need to release. And we need more of it to release that pressure you know if, if I look at a Cardiff team today it's it's a hard task it, I think keeping a clean sheet against you know but what you have to do is you have to be strong enough fortunate enough uh, diligent enough in everything you do to stop that um, but if you can't then you need the buffer of that extra goal the extra goal to relieve that little bit of pressure then maybe the game opens up a bit they start taking a few more chances and so um, but until you get that second one, then so you, you, you're not relieving that pressure on yourself. But do you have the players, Chris, in your squad who can give you that cushion in games that, that you need? Because obviously through last year, you weren't scoring enough goals and mm. we're seeing the same again this year a bit. Do you think you've solved that over transfer window maybe? Yeah, where well, we haven't seen all the players well, yet. Well, you know, this, this we, we have to see. And, and, and obviously up until this moment, you know, that hasn't been the case. You know, we, we have brought players in. Um, some have come in very late um, in the window, and obviously not that opportunity to work with. Some um, we have two players at this moment will still miss the next the next two games. 
So, you know, it's my responsibility to bring them up to speed as, as quick as possible, in, in to integrate them into the group and, and start to get results. You know, we're on the other side, it's still small margins, you know, and, it, and, it, and if I'm looking at, you know, clear chances, you know, this was a Cardiff side that didn't have real sort of clear chances uh, in the game, but neither did we, you know, apart from the, the goal that we scored. But the game's still s small margins. And each of the games that we lost, it's been, it's been by one goal. It's about turning their margins into our favour. And, and it means a group of players gelling and getting up to speed as, as quick as we can. The, the, the stats will tell you, the facts say that this is now Forest's worst start for over 100 years. Chris, are you confident that you and this squad can turn this around quickly like you need to? Yeah, but I, I have to be. I have to be because I have a, I have a group of players that our responsibility is in, in whichever way, whichever way we do it, we have to get we have to get results and and whether that's a, a game on Wednesday night that we don't play well but we get a couple of fortunate goals, whichever way it comes, you know we have to get results and that means players stepping up to the, to a mark. That means a, a, a group of players gelling together with, with what we've got and doing enough to get results. Do you are you tempted to change something, try something completely new, or is your system going to work? No, if and, and I've, I've been asked that question lots of times, and when things are not going so well, I don't think anybody can accuse us of, of not fielding a team that had enough. Uh, offensive players in there to us to get to us to get results, <coughs> and, and when you're playing four offensive players and you've got fullbacks that you know can break forward as well, young fullbacks. So it's not it's not about formations for me at the moment. It's about showing enough quality to break deadlocks. It's showing enough resilience to to keep a clean sheet. Um, and it's showing enough, if enough in the team to, to win football matches. And you know, the next game will be different, a different type of game, certainly a different type of game to today. And we have, we've very much got to be up for it.